Hello, hello, and welcome to Two Minutes with an Art Eater. I'm your host, Kayla Quiros. We have a very special episode planned for y'all today. I am beyond excited to introduce our very own Claire Trevor School of the Arts Dean, Tiffany Ana Lopez. Hi, Kayla. I'm so excited to be in conversation with you today. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you so much. For those of you who don't know, Dean Lopez has an extensive background in the arts and is a visionary artist, administrator, and proven champion for diversity, equity, and inclusion. At UCI, she intends to build connections with the community by harnessing the strengths of the school to create clear through lines and professional pathways for both students and faculty research. In addition, she is a first-generation college student where she earned her PhD PhD and MA from University of California, Santa Barbara, and her BA from California State University, Sacramento. She is a true lifelong scholar and educator. So firstly, what fuels your love of the arts? Oh my gosh, just knowing the transformational impact it had on me as a young person. I, mm -hmm. If I had not had encounters with the arts for an early age, I wouldn't be here today. I grew up in a very a uh, tumultuous household mm -hmm. and had the good fortune of growing up in California in the 1970s with a lot of free public arts programs. So as crazy as things mm -hmm. might be in my house, I could always go out in the world and be inspired through the arts. Are there any upcoming CTSA event shows that you are excited for or any that have illuminated your perception of CTSA? Well, I'm still coming off the afterglow of dance visions and Syrian yes. reads <laughs> choreography. I'm just so blown away by the, the dance and the work of dance visions and that piece in particular. Mm -hmm. um, but a project that's very close to my heart that's coming mm -hmm. up is uh, Diane Rodriguez's Sweetheart mm -hmm. Deal on the Robert Cohen stage mm -hmm. directed by Sarah Guerrero, who's a long time mm -hmm. Orange County based artist mm -hmm. uh, with Latina Breath of Fire Theater Ensemble. And then Diane Rodriguez mm -hmm. wa was a theater artist and an arts administrator and yeah. someone that was very impactful from early on in my career. I had the great fortune to mm -hmm. work with her in Los Angeles for many decades. So that we're doing her play that's based on her own experiences working with mm -hmm. um, with El Teatro Campesino and having a front row seat yeah. think about arts making and advancing the United Farm Workers Movement and mm -hmm. the larger relationships that she forged in her career as a DEI mm -hmm. centered arts champion yeah. and creator uh, through her time with the Latino Theater Initiative uh, at the Mark Taper Forum, but also mm -hmm. as an artistic director uh, for Center Theater Group. It's just incredible that we're having that work mm -hmm. here on our stage. Prior to working at UCI, you were Vice Provost for Inclusive Excellence at Arizona State University and Director of ASU's School of Film, Dance, and Theater at the Herberger Institute for Design and the Arts. What inspired you to make the move to UCI? I said it before, all the paths in my career, it feels like they've led to this one, to be able to come back to the UC from being a student and having yeah. been a previous UC faculty member at UC Riverside. Mm -hmm. I have almost 30 years of my life connected yeah. with the University of California, uh, and then I have almost that long amount of time mm -hmm. as a artist here in mm -hmm. Southern California, and then I grew up here in Southern California, yeah. and to be able to have the synergies of that work mm -hmm. in a school that just every day I wake up and I'm so inspired by the the incredible work of our students and the mm -hmm. excellence of our faculty. Um, it, it's just really, uh, it, it, it's a dream job and yeah. I am just honored and excited every day to come here and mm -hmm. help us advance the mission of shaping artists and creative leaders for the 21st century. And we as students feel so honored to have you here as well, so thank you. Thank you. What other improvements are you hoping to make at CTSA? Well, you know, I'm a, I'm a first gen student, so mm -hmm. I think a lot about putting our education here forward to think about how we want to be agents of transformation and impact partners mm -hmm. through our work, not only the mm -hmm. how of what we're doing yeah. as artists and scholars and other makers, but really the mm -hmm. why of what we do. So uh, I'm excited to build out uh, our engagement with the community as well as professional pathways and mm -hmm. think about to do what I describe as creative wayfinding, mm -hmm. how throughout 
a student's life with us? Can we help yeah. point in different directions about what's possible? Because uh, the, the students and your generation going forward, over half of the careers that you'll be advancing in your life are the ones that you'll invent. So, uh, you know, mm -hmm. hence the need, I think, for us to really be visionary and working in partnership with students to think about what kind of creative wayfinding yeah. that you're eager for us to help uh, bring into the work that we do here in the Claire Trevor School of the Arts. How has being a Latina woman framed your approach on the world and arts in general? You know, I'm part of a generation that when I started my PhD work at UC mm -hmm. Santa Barbara, I was the first Latina in the history of UC Santa Barbara to obtain a PhD in English, myself and my colleague Alma Rosa Alvarez. And I, mm -hmm. at that time, there wasn't a focus on dramaturgy, mm -hmm. uh, a Lati let alone Latina dramaturgy. So yeah. that, that is why I had focused on doing that work in the context of, a, um, of an English degree where I was invited to think about mm -hmm. dramatic literature and, and the theater making practice. So that was in the mid 90s and I was wow. a first in the mid 90s, which is, you know, that's crazy. and that's here in Southern California. That's at a UC campus that has a real history around Chicano activism. You know, mm -hmm. when somebody lets you yeah. know about their experience of history and what they've been carrying and just a real need to serve our community, but mm -hmm. serve having the excellence of our artistry, our work, our cultural history, be part of the fabric of how we think about art making practice. I just felt really uh, called into the mission of that mm -hmm. work. Uh, I think as a light-skinned light Latina throughout my career, I've been uh, you know, very cognizant about uh, how I see myself and, and think about my work and how others often may see me in ways that aren't congruent with how I see myself and my work. Yeah. And I that has very much charged how I've thought about the yeah. importance of advocacy, not only for mm -hmm. the arts, like here at UCI, mm -hmm. I'll be a, a dean at a table with deans from STEM, and so there's, real, uh, there's the opportunity there and the responsibility to be an advocate for the arts. And then in broader tables where I'm the only Latina at the table, to be able to be a real advocate for thinking about the cultural specificity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because of where we, where we live and work here in Southern California, in California, at an institution that is a Hispanic serving institution and mm -hmm. to make sure that, that the advocacy part of the work that we do is brought into the room. On that note, I think it's time for speed round. All right, I'm ready. Okay, answer as fast as you can. Favorite snack? Potato chips. Yes. Best movie of all time? Station Agent, Dune, and Violet. And I'm obsessed with Dune. Favorite song? Ooh, something by Lizzo. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Cats or dogs? Dogs. Mm -hmm. What sound does an anteater make? Zot, zot, zot. Yeah. <laughs> Great job. You did amazing. Again, thank you so much for recording with me today. This has been awesome. Thank you so much for having me. And I just, I'm, I'm just so excited all the time by the work of our students. I look forward to seeing you and our fellow art eaters at our next event. Yes. <laughs> I'm Kayla Quiroz. Thanks for listening. Stay safe and zot, zot, zot. Zot, zot, zot. Zot, zot, zot. zot.